Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 3. Let us continue our conquest of the East-ish sort of thing. I don't think this is actually a conquest of the East, but... Oop. Well, there goes that colony. Figured that would bleed out in any, pretty much any moment. May 3rd... Not ideal. I'm gonna beat them there, right? Okay, good. And assault. Done. Incompetent diplomacy. Gain one infamy. Well, screw you. Wow, six infamy for this friggin' piece of shit. Good god. Luckily. Today is the day I create my Vassal of the East, which is otherwise known as Sino-Cyber. For those of you who are well-versed in ancient languages, this means Sino, or China, Cyber, Siberia. I, I just kind of halfway assume that this place is just going to eat up, like, this entire region here. So, for all intents and purposes, uh, Sino-Siberia, or China and Siberia, would be the best way to put it. I think, yeah. Yeah, let, let's go with that. Open market, of course, of course. Uh, I'm not gonna invite them to an alliance, because they still have island colonies all over the place, and coastal colonies that could just be too easily taken. So in the meantime, let's get these guys back home, and then we'll uh, pick up the guys that we left in Siberia. And of course, I did clear up our infamy issue. Great thing about releasing vassals. So, Flanders is about to... Oh wait, they have a core on this, do they? Yeah, Flanders. Huh. So when they take this, then they should instantly become... Uh, France, I think. Or, no, 56, um, no. 69, okay, and 1769 they'll become France, okay. Hmm. And you can just see the entire fleet's just heading home. There was like 35 ships from all different nationalities out there. It's like, wow. Gotta admit, my, uh, my vassals, they are committed to fighting for me. And we're up to 238 annually, which is good, but inflation still becoming a problem. But I also need to finish three more universities. This is a problem. Which comes first? Okay, minus 34 annually. Um, I don't know really. It's a tough call. Do I want to get rid of all my inflation first? Or do I want to finish off the universities? Well, inflation is really only a problem in the long run, and I'm not going to have a long run at this point. It's getting close to the end of the game. So if one is to mint, then one might as well mint now. I still probably have one of the lowest inflations in the game either way. We have learned about Osage. Isn't that another place just randomly up in Siberia somewhere? I thought it was. Oh well. Okay. So we do have to worry about the Inca. Oh hey, did they just get... Yes, yes they did. They got Reich's Reform. Oh no, you're not hunting rebels. Stand down. Bring him back to the mainland. And the Timurids are hopefully going to collapse soon. Being really annoying. Just having them exist is a problem for me. It just annoys me to no end having them exist. I don't know why. You know what? Here. Have a gift of some money. 
You look like you need it. And yeah, they have a center trade in Makassar, so they'll probably be okay for cash. Yeah, Alright, we won the Western Arab Sea. Excellent. And get the ships in there. Alright. Let's move them up there. So I believe that takes care of the problem. Rebels in Persia shouldn't be too big of an issue. I can just dedicate one set of troops there. Oh, cultural assimilation. Let's take a look at the culture map, but I haven't brought that up in a while. Um, not bad. Oh, we just have one Arab province there. And like five here, great. But yeah. yeah, only one Air, true Arabian province up here, which is amazing. This is almost finished off. Like, there's almost no Arab left. Alright, I think I'm about done with stability for the time being. Plus two is fine. It's much better served putting it into land technologies. As I am pulling significant leads over a majority of Europe. Small, minor trade states are the problem, really. They're the only ones who can compete with me. Okay. But Austria is a problem. Austria has been attacking people and... generally threatening the formation of Germany. I've defeated them once before with pretty much no issue. And that was when... Yeah, they were a lot harder back then. So, another full-scale assault should be more than sufficient. Yeah, alright, so we should have... Actually, you know what? You go to there. You go there. That'll make more sense. We have pretty much enough troops to steamroll through them. Uh, I'm not going to take any land. I'm going to use the liberation cost as Billy. I plan to liberate Achia in this area. Which will just literally take that entire area right there. And if I liberate Bavaria as well, then they'll take those provinces. Uh, Achia will also take that one. Could liberate uh, Quilia as well. And people want me to liberate Croatia like no tomorrow, so I will do that. Um, what else? What else? Uh, just, I think that's really all about I'm going to be end up liberating. We could liberate Romania or something. I don't know. Moldavia, whatever. We've converted the heretics of Albania. Oh, wait. Right. The Albania's over here. <laughs> I always forget there's two Albanias. Even though that one's not technically called Albania. It confused the crap out of me in Crusader Kings, too. Land Technology 40. We can now build Fort 5 province of Bourbon has defected to us. What? Defected to Armenia. The hell? Okay. You just go take care of that. South Africa should occupy Bourbon. We'll take that back. And while we're at it, we can grab Herat. Um, all right, they're going to be taken down anyway. So, a thousand flowers. 7,100. Aren't we closing out another university? I believe so, in fact. Yeah, just another little bit. Another two months, and we should be good, I think. I acknowledge it. Kings are allowed to be scared on occasion. I'm not gonna hold it. The bother stuff. Really? Okay, you know what? You take them out on before you head over there. Um, finish these guys off, or apparently not. <laughs> that was 98 right there. 
wow. Just wow. So yeah, Bourbon is as good as Occupied. Um, and yeah, should be okay then. Um, alright, take out Donna and go after that. Speaking of which, in Alexandria, I want to build an additional 15 infantry. And in Cairo, an additional 3 mortars for now. We'll wait. And we're going to keep building some more mortars. We're going to need another 15 of them. This is just so I can slowly, up, over time, upgrade my units. Um, curse the mass cost of these godforsaken things. Uh, rather, actually, you know what? Not them. That's fine. Curse the excessive cost of my universities. That's the real problem here. I still have three more to go. And it really seems like no matter how many I take, it's I'm just always going to. Eh, only for that. Eh. <clears throat> Great. Tabaristan succeeded. Alright. I want a third group just in case. And to speed up the occupation and stuff. Anyway, Bourbon should eventually be converted, or controlled again, so we can take it back. And they've taken Borges. Yeah, they have all the provinces they need to form uh, France now. Which is pretty good. So they'll reform France and probably rampage across Germany, uniting it under their banner. Really? I don't even get where the first jackals... Oh yeah, right, the first jackal and vulture event came from there. Um... No, you, you... You turn, you turn. Damn it! I hate autosaves ever so much. But I do it because you never know when the hell the game is gonna crash out on you or something. It has happened many times. Alright, so you go there first. Take them down. Alright. They're down. Four bonds not occupied, so I don't care what uh, they have to offer me. Okay, I don't know if I need the additional troops immediately. Ooh. I can finalize mercantilism. So, my sliders are all in position. Don't you love my domestic policies? Can you spot the odd one out? I know I can. Um. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Yeah, I'm ready. I'll never be ready, apparently. Rebels all over the goddamn place. So I need another five mortars. Um. That'll be enough to upgrade three battle regiments, which is pretty good. Declare war. I want liberation. 50% cost for liberation of vassals, countries, and reduction of sphere. <clears throat> Alright, I'll need a couple leaders, that's fine. They're not escaping. Mecklenburg joined in, good for them. Point is, our goal here is liberation. Not to just completely and, you know, utterly. Alright, you guys hit that way then. <laughs> Alright, and... Yeah, they're gonna lose another 5,000, then they're heading for Graz, so... Move there. What? Oh god, where'd Austria's troops come from? Treat to Crane. That's fine. 
and retreat to there to recover. Muscle our way into that. At least that caused them to retreat. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, Austria has quite a few forces. It's nothing to be uh, worried over, I don't think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we still outnumber them significantly. It's not to say a lot of my troops aren't going to have to recover <laughs> after a rather painful blitz against their initial troops. And rediscover some more. Oh, well, <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> where is going, little horse? Oh, boy. All right, let's do this. Four level two, yeah, we can break it. And push northward. <clears throat> Freaking autosave. Um... Lovely. 14th of January. Yeah, okay. They... Yeah, okay. You never have too much money. I'm gaining lots of random money. Lovely. I do not mind this at all. Cut them off. Um, alright. So we've got a fair bit here. Um, Super Beast. Demand Tributes. Let's see... They can release that. Oof, that's a giant cut into them. And that. Oh, I like that. I do like that. And Croatia. I do like that. And Hungary. Ooh. Ooh, I like that as well. Well, there's no point in trying to release Bosnia, because that's pretty much the same. Mizovia, sure. Moldavia, sure. Anhalt. Where the heck's Anhalt? Um, oh. I guess, uh, hang on here. Yeah. Alright, that looks good. Divide them up. 82. Yeah, that'll really divide them up, actually. Jeez. That's gonna be their capital region. And that's gonna be everywhere else. Jeez. They're not... Keep in mind, the people I release are not going to just become my vassals or anything. Alright, retreat from there. That's fine. Yeah, they're not going to follow me. Figured. I need a leader in them. Before they can hope to even do anything. Then they'll have to regenerate troops there. Um, Gores. Where's that? They're going to Gore. Oh, okay. Alright, that's fine. 18th of March, 19th of March. Cut them off then. 24th. They're cut off no matter where they run. All right, perfect. Invested. Um. All right, we're getting there. It's gonna be a bit of a slow war, I think. Mostly because we have a lot to occupy. My reputation isn't everything. Austria's just got too many fronts to fight on. They'll never get anywhere. Eh, Mecklenburg wants white piece, eh? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Enforce some religion up here. Um, okay, then why are we sieging them? Oh, no, that's there that's being sieged, I see. Interesting. 
And Flanders is attacking Savoy. I have no problem with this. Hey, their capital moved. What? How did their capital move? It would have had to have moved to one of the places in the Empire, wouldn't it? Did the AI cheat and move its capital to the New World? Actually, I wouldn't be that surprised if it did. I know the AI cheats a lot. I have no idea where their capital is. Definitely sure it's not there. I have literally no idea where their capital is. That's rather disturbing, actually. Would figure it'd be, you know, somewhere in the New World if they moved it. But they can't move it to the New World, can they? So it would have to be somewhere in the Empire. You know, their only places would be here, and that's not even in the Empire, so here, here, and here. I would expect, you know, maybe here or here, because that's attached to one province, and I know the AI is a little weird that way. Um, but... I can't find their capital. It's rather worrying. I guess when I'm done with Austria, I'll have to take that friggin' port I've been waiting for for a long time. Anyway, it looks like Austria's beat yet again. Um, so we're just gonna balkanize them. Again, I, as I've said, I bear no will to take anything, and Peskov joining in is fine. I fully support Peskov joining in and retaking territory. The point is, I'm just weakening them, because these guys are a lucky nation, and I hate lucky nations. I always turn it off. I wish it was, like, by default, always off, and if I could, I would always turn it off, even like this, but I can't. Um, lucky nation settings are on. I could probably turn it off if I tried hard enough, but... Or looks at the save file hard enough, I should say. They're going to Istrian, okay. Chase them down. Alright, so they lost about cavalry. They're going to Crane now. Why don't they die? Oh yeah, I totally forgot I was at war with Armenia. Just look down at the uh, peace offers. Anyway, keep beating them down. They'll run out of troops eventually. There you go. Alright, let's have them run there. Uh, Armenia, sue for peace. Demand tribute. Release the nation of Persia. Yeah, sure. And seed Bourbon. Why do? Why does it cost me four for me? Bullcrap. I got a Casas Bali. With the defected province, Casas Bali. Ugh. I claim bullcrap. I guess the CB timer ran out on it or whatever. So yeah, now we have Persia. A noble republic in a single province that I do not own. Or control or anything. Oh yeah, and I'm at war with them again. I should care, but I don't. I'm actually probably more scared of their rebels. That was a lot of rebels. Really, I'm literally scared more of the rebels than them. But, uh, yeah, they've lost a fair number of provinces here. <laughs> I guess Peskov backed out. Sue for peace? Nah, not happening. Okay. But, uh, they've lost a fair number of provinces. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. Yeah. Done. Let's get them in lines. Boom. Just demolish them. Cartan. Okay, they're retreating there. Pick them off, and then we'll head off on these guys. Okay, it looks like they're taken care of. Let's head up to Salzburg then, with them. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, they were taken care of. Uh, we can cut them off here, can't we? Yeah, let's do that then. Oh no, Italians cut them off. Lovely. 
Perfect. It looks like they are cut badly and are bleeding. To land tech 44 now. Okay, yeah, eight years ahead of its time. Let's, you know, let these things catch up a little. For the next eight years or so. Just demand a concession of defeat. I mean, the Demerids have lasted this long. It's actually astounding. I just slowly expect the Hordes to have been consumed, but they aren't. They just keep on living. To the point even I can't expect it anymore. <clears throat> and Norway's eventually gonna... Revolutionaries have occupied that entire area. Hmm. Seventy-two percent. Isn't that what I need to release everything I want to? Bavaria. Check, check, check. Croatia, Hungary, Zovia, Moldavia. Eighty-two. They would accept this offer, or I could also give in to the Maquilia. For 94. You know what I will. Just to uh, make some more states. So, what is that? 90, 92, so I need like another 10% war score. That's only another occupation or so. So, this won't be long. I'll let the episode drag on a little. Uh, just so we can finish off this war. How do they keep getting all these freaking cores? Like, Teresa's is getting, like, border conflict events or whatever the hell they are. They give you cores. Map disputes. Insane. And it's all on Austria, too. Like, do they have any cores on my border? No. They've got another core there. Another core there, another core there. Eighty-one percent. So I think I just need one more finished occupation. With the walls breached, we can take it. And come on, come on. Our strike is over. All right. So with our strike overrun, demand some tribute here. All right. So we want Antrian and Halt. Bavaria, Croatia, Hungary, Zovia, Moldavia, and Aquilia. That seems perfect to me. 87 prestige. God love it. Can I revoke like a single core? Yeah, on fillets. But of course, just before we do this, Imperialism! Let one day pass. Now Austria won't be called in. Heck, now I need to actually redo the peace thing again. Uh, Anhalt. Bavaria. Aquilia. Croatia, Hungary, Mazovia, Moldavia. Send. Alright, I didn't revoke the core. Oh well. Oof, oof. Well, they're balkanized. Whoops, I put Atrian. I meant to uh, give that. That should have gone to Bavaria. So should that, actually. Oh, well. <laughs> Either way, Austria is no longer that big of a problem. They are greatly weakened. And, you know, once they're... Once the Roman troops leave. Perfect. <laughs> 
So that ensures that Crane will pretty much stay down. Opening markets, sure. <laughs> I'm sure most of them exist, yeah. I don't know. Let's see if we can keep our relations up. I mean, they are nicely enough member states of the Holy Roman Empire. If they become electors, I could end up becoming the emperor. That would be really neat to see, just me becoming the emperor. All right, so let's withdraw our troops to Italy. Actually, let's withdraw our troops overall. No one has a core on that, so I will be able to take it regardless. Yeah, let's just get out of here. We've completely balkanized them. They have nothing. Austria is in shambles. And at war with Poland. Ah ha 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 ha. Minus point thirteen. Yeah, if I can get rid of this um whole issue of last bit of infamy I've got here, then my relations with them will be increasing. Nicely and nice and permanently. Blue coats, eh? I'm gonna use Fredericton infantry. Thank you. And yeah, that's uh, the end of that. So again, yeah, their capital. I have no idea where their capital currently is. It should show somewhere, shouldn't it? No, where is that capital? There it is. How did they move it to the New World? I don't get that. How did they move it to the New World? <sighs> Silly cheating AI. Oh well, the cheating AI for once works out to my advantage. <laughs> but yeah, that was a good, fun, balkanizing war. Yeah. Just using all my stuff to form royal marriages, might as well. But yeah, now Poland's just going to mass occupy Austria, take a bunch of land. And too bad, you know, they aren't going to do the same. I'd love to see Peskov take some too. But yeah, um, I think that'll about do it for the episode. Uh, extra long episode since I... This is going to be the second one out today, probably. Ooh, 13 grand. I can uh, get some more universities going. Or a university, I think, at this point. 7,700. Not terrible. There's two more universities to go. Uh, we're closing in on the completion of universities. Austria is balkanized, and very shortly I can assume that uh, we will have the final province on the Black Sea. Exclusion of Malagna. Which, again, it's a capital issue. I can't take it. <laughs> I suppose if I surrounded their capital and just took this area here, then I could, but... We're almost through it. And Flanders is forming France in another, what is it, 79 they'll get it? Something like that. <laughs> so yeah, that's really about it. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone again for watching, and remind everyone to donate to Child's Play Charity. They, uh, they um, donate books, toys, and games to children in the hospital, who are there for long-term treatment and care. Very good charity. Um, the donation link's in the description, and again, when we reach 10% of our $1,000 goal, uh, I will do a two-hour episode of this. Maybe not initially, but uh, when I find the time to record for two hours straight. Uh, due to school and stuff, I've been actually having trouble getting my, skit, my uh, recording schedule stabilized, as you can tell. It's been a bit of a pain. <laughs> so, you know, just overall, I've been busy, uh, and I do apologize for that. But there is just not much I can do. Uh, it should lighten up in a bit, like in a week or so. And until then, I'm going to try and at least get a stable schedule. Timakua? What? Something about a siege of Timakua that I can't see. Gurgen? Okay. Engine. Tim. Ukua. No, I guess, like, the bridge or something had taken it. Cool. Um, 
Oh yeah, the Bahamas has been occupied this entire time. Come on, hurry up and fall. Kind of want to show everyone, you know, root taking the final province, but <clears throat> apparently that's not going to happen today. I apologize. So, until next time, this is Kelvin signing off. <laughs>